This video features excerpts from a recorded one-hour live lesson on water-soluble graphite. Live lessons are available weekly to members of the virtualinstructor.com. I hope that you enjoy these excerpts and I hope they help you out. Some different forms of the water-soluble graphite. And these, these first two pencils here are made by a portfolio and uh, the, the type of pencil they are are aqua sketch. So these are uh, made by portfolio. These are very economical pencils to pick up. Um, and I also have these water-soluble graphite sticks um, and these are made by Lyra and this is a 2B and this is a 9B and this is this one is to be handled very carefully and you'll see why in just a minute. Each other on the surface. Of course the, tooth, the paper is going to play a role here and then let's do one with the 9B down here here on the nylon brush and I'm going to go ahead and activate this area. Now why do you need to know what the pencils are going to do when water is added to them? Well it's going to affect where you put the different grades of value or how much of it you're going to put on the surface. Obviously you can draw the entire drawing with one grade of graphite obviously and activate it a little bit less but we still get a pretty good range of value there. It's super dark And of course we can thin it out with water and make it a little bit lighter in value. Mostly what's called contour lines, but I think you kind of get the idea. And again, we don't have to get too incredibly detailed. Now, back here on the back end, again, I want to look at that diagonal. I'll let that area be a little bit lighter. And we'll just make a note where it gets a little bit darker right here. down there. We'll maybe exaggerate that a little bit. And Since uh, you probably want to maybe use a paper, like watercolor paper will be a little bit easier to uh, use the ink tense pencils on, but maybe ease, ease wasn't what you were going for there. Because <laughs> the uh, sometimes it's a real marathon to complete a drawing or complete a painting. Sometimes it takes quite a bit of focus, quite a bit of time to, uh, to build up things so that you have a finished drawing. You can always make things darker if need be. You can let the, the graphite application dry on the surface and then uh, go back over the top of it with a, a darker one or another application. There's nothing wrong with that. And now we kind of switch our, our thought process from drawing to basically painting and all we're doing is really just spreading the graphite around and letting it work in and fill in the tooth of the paper. And We only see those highlights because there is a subtle light value next to it. So I'll pull up some of that and borrow from the cast shadow here. Lots of, lots of subtle values in here. This is really a great thing to practice with, a great subject here. It was Alright, so this is back to the 4B pencil and I'm just going to push my values a little bit further. And of course you can just slowly repeat this process. All these little areas that we applied with the 4B, we can start to get those going here too. I'll we'll switch to the larger brush in this larger area and kind of pull some of that color over, that graphite over. It's very difficult to remove the color or remove the material if you make a mistake. Of course, you can always add more water and lift it, but you kind of have to be quick with that. And of course, they're distorted on the label. So I'm not going to think of them as much as letters as just lines. And I'm going to try to just draw those lines and not really think about what I'm spelling out. Because what that will, if I try to really figure out what I'm trying to spell or what letter it is, I'm going to try to draw the letter. 
and it's not going to have the right distortion that's necessary or the right angle that's necessary for it to look convincing. So, and uh, don't be afraid to make it too exaggerated. If you look at back at some of Leonardo's drawings, um, they're super distorted. Well, not super distorted, but they're super exaggerated. Off. Nobody is going to fault you for that one. make a comment about consumerism. I don't know. I don't think there's any UPC police in here who can say that number is not an official number. Maybe they are. Maybe there are people. <laughs> Add a little bit of a contour line here. Just a little indication of a stronger line right here on the back side. It may be a little bit of that right here, even though that's not necessarily visible in our photo reference. I am just going to define that line just a little bit more. There we go. And maybe the contour outside of this little lips here. All right, now we're going to call that one uh, finished for tonight. So. If you enjoyed this video and you're ready to learn more, why not check out four video courses, live instruction, and over 6,000 minutes of art instruction, which include ebooks, live lessons, lesson plans, and more. Just click on the button to learn more now.